Notice from the head of SCP-6940 containment. The following document mentions an anti-nomenclative entity. To prevent anti-nomenclative effects, the distinct designation of the respected entity is replaced with stretches of blank space. This is currently the most effective means of referring to such an entity. Item number SCP-6940 Object Class Thalmu Special Containment Procedures The land containing SCP-6940 has been purchased and reclassified as private property. Due to the topological inconsistencies within SCP-6940 and the threat its inhabitants potentially present, no further attempts to explore beyond SCP-6941 are to be performed. Personnel sent to explore SCP-6940 are to be supplied with copies of document 6942A and 2B. Subjects are to be amnesticized following a post-exploration interview. Standard hypnotherapy techniques should be utilized for acquiring comprehensive statements. SCP-6941 is to be examined weekly. If smoke levels begin to decrease, documents 6942A and B are to be read aloud in the direct presence of the one who won the war in their entirety. This is to be performed in person by an adult human female sharing near-identical ethnicity and hair color as the worker born in poverty. A full list of such personnel can be found in document 6941C. Description SCP-6940 is an extra-dimensional location accessible through a miniature wooden door. The door is attached to the basis of an oak tree located in a forest in Oxford, England. Site 6940. On the front of the door is a small wooden placard that reads, Governing Bodies of the Forbidden and Lost. SCP-6940 resembles a forested area containing multiple natural pathways. The layout is inconsistent, often altering between visits. Multiple clearings have been reported throughout SCP-6940 by visiting personnel. Upon entering such a clearing, the surrounding greenery is said to restructure to reveal additional paths and cover those previously traveled. Additional pathways will similarly open, reshape, and close off as subjects attempt to leave, making navigation extremely difficult. Subjects lost in this manner remain so following additional explorations. The only means of leaving SCP-6940 is for subjects to go to sleep after reading or listening to the contents of document 6942A and B. Subjects that do so will manifest in the location where they last fell asleep outside of SCP-6940. In place of the subject's copy of document 6942A and B will be redacted softback or hardback, depending on the reader's preference. After returning, subjects will temporarily experience each of you whenever perceiving auditory or visual phenomena similar to anything they encountered within SCP-6940. Without suitable amnestic treatment, Subjects will become convinced that the time in SCP-6940 was just a dream. Personnel are unable to recall details regarding the clearings they encountered, often claiming to have gradually forgotten such memories while backtracking or upon waking up. Only the vague concept of such places containing entities, structures, and other items implying occupancy will remain. In most recorded cases, subjects mention wooden signposts, shaped like arrows pointing towards the clearings. Attached to each of these signs will always be a blank wooden placard. Subjects returning from these locations will often describe having sustained physical injuries, presumably related to what they encountered. Notable recurring examples have been included. 
threatening damage to the head. Respiratory symptoms caused by inhaling copious amounts of secondhand smoke. The presence of partly digested foodstuffs within subject stomachs, often high in sugar. Scarring or leg gashes across the back of the neck. Allergic reactions to cat hair. Large claw marks and charred skin, often experienced in large groups. Such groups fail to return in their entirety. SCP-6941 is a single clearing not affected by topological inconsistencies. The path leading to SCP-6941 may be crossed without issue. Within the center of SCP-6941 is a small cottage with a thatch roof. The stone chimney built into the cottage consistently releases white smoke into the air, which rises into and engulfs the sky of SCP-6940. The interior is scarcely decorated, containing only an unlit fireplace with a broken over mental mirror and a single twin-sized bed to which that restless oven lays. The name taker is a type green humanoid entity with antinomical properties. These features prevent the one forever dreaming from being referred to directly by name, title, or identity. Attempts to do so result in the loss of a subject's primary name, title, or metaphysical property identifying as an individual when never granted their own name is unconscious, and does not physically age or suffer any malnourishment from a lack of sustenance. White burning smoke is consistently produced from the top of the head, which floats towards the fireplace and up through the chimney. Failure to regularly read documents 6940 2A and B within the factory workers' presence will cause the book's protagonist to toss and turn while sleeping, until appearing to almost wake up. During extended periods of such hours, the smoke within SCP-6940 will begin to clear, revealing smoke much darker and ashier in appearance. Along with this, subjects post-exploration clearly record the smells of rust and metal. It is unknown what will occur if that nameless weapon awakens. Access Document 6942A and 2B